One more day, one more long, long day of planning, setting everything up, but, but I tend to have fun this time. Yeah, right. Hello, hello, and welcome back to our little Solenfjord, a little country that we call Solenfjord or region that is located right in between the uh, Soviet uh, Soviet Union and the NATO bordering countries. This is an important transition uh, transition hub. Uh, it's something like Austria of today. Well, actually, it's much more northern, but hey ho. Um, Austria was kind of neutral back in the Cold the Cold War days, so uh, kind of was used for spy things and some such. Um, on the other hand, we do have a quite important uh, rail link between the Soviet. Uh, Union or and the NATO countries that would be the uh, border border crossing railroad border crossing that we have over here and also it's really important transit hub for the Soviet Union itself it's gonna be a little bit challenging connecting to this network which uh, is definitely gonna be a goal but uh, we'll see how that goes because up until this bridge we can connect easily so I was hoping that we can connect after this bridge is gonna be challenging why I hear you say Bridge, tunnel, I don't think we can connect in tunnel. Maybe we can, I need to uh, explore that. Then we have the only land, uh, little land piece over here. Uh, in between these two tunnels. And then another tunnel. And then here we can connect again to the rail network. That's going to be all in all challenging. But fear not, fear not. We have stuff to do. We have things to plan. We have our new city to build. And hopefully full of nice goodies and industries and some such. Okay, so um, we started in the last episode with a heating plant. We need to start with uh, the heating infrastructure as well. That means we're going to have to have heat exchanger somewhere. So we're going to start with those. This heating plant is oil based, oil burning heating plant. I think that's the best thing we can do uh, because I think oil is much easily transportable. You, you get more calories out of it so it's it's just less of it to transport so it's going to cause less uh, border crossing issues so we're going to go for the heat exchanger uh i'm just going to go and check the you know what let's set up the city first without connecting anything we're just going to set up the city i think i'm going to go and build the rest of the gravel whoa they're building it from this side yeah this is not too far i mean like we need to finish the uh, the construction offices first i think that's going to be important and then i can put smaller construction offices here that's going to be the the bus ones but these fives are five are going to be important okay anyway, anyway anyway continuing on uh what we need here is to finish the or finish setting up the uh, heating infrastructure that means we're going to need heat exchanger but before that i would like to go for I don't know. Let's go with the city. So I'm going to go and extend this part of the city here first. Oh, grid. Almighty grid. Oh, how I love the grid. Uh, let's go and we need free excavator. That's fine. No excavator. And let's go and grid. Grid the place up. Okay. So I'm thinking about this part of the city first. So we're going to need like a centrally located bus station. By the way, it does not need to be... Uh, in the center of the city, uh, every neighborhood can have the bus station on its own, so we're gonna go for a bus station. Unfortunately, Uliki is a big fan of trains and some such and stuff, but unfortunately, trains here are useless. So, yeah. Uh, I'm gonna go for Vanilla. Uh, do we go, want to go for Vanilla? We have Robs' ones. Let's go for Vanilla this time. This is a small one bus platform here we go we're gonna go for vanilla for you naysayers who say that leaky doesn't like vanilla which is actually true but uh, still 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 motors for the win um need flat ground i thought that was here okay that, that's fine we can do it over here here we go bus around bus station everything else is going to be uh, like uh, gravitating towards so of course the most important thing is going to be uh, population centers we're going to need i don't know 2000 people at least of course we cannot build uh, many um uh, any not many any um the prefab panel buildings so we need to research that first but we can build a lot of brick buildings I'm just thinking what brick buildings we have. This one has 100 and 
Okay, this one doesn't look too bad. Has 140 people, so we plonk six, seven of these, and that would be it. The problem with these is that they have a road connection to them, and I hate the road connections. Sorry to say that that loudly, but hate. It definitely needs to be emphasized. What do we have here? This is the 100 workers, historic ward. Yeah, this is historic hospital, but uh, there's also residential part of this building. Uh, the same building, just residential. 85 percenters, Leaky is not dealing with. 85s maybe if I really, really like the building and if we're de doing really, really well, but other than that, nah, no dice. These look nice, these look nice. This is 93% quality, 62. These look I think I mentioned this. Nice. Or, or or as we say, or as they say in Ireland, noise. So if I go... Oh, these are Stalinkas. <gasps> so much better. So much better. <clears throat> anyway, it looks like the planning is going to be a little bit challenging. Because the excavator is not free, that's fine. Uh, we're going to go and continue planning other stuff. There's a lot of smaller buildings that we can focus on. Bear in mind, we're going to expand, extend, expand uh, our... We're gonna extend our fleet of uh, excavators as well shortly, so that's gonna be on the agenda for today. Uh, anything else I need to mine here? We need to use as much gravel as we can. You can see that a lot of gravel is being used. That's great to see because um, uh, our trucks need to continue working. What is this? 40%, let's go to 50, let's go to 60. Uh, because I needed these trucks to continue importing, importing, that's important, electrical components, mechanical components, uh, that's because only one truck is importing both of those things, that's why we don't have the second one, that's fine. Um, what about these, uh, ground works, we need to, f uh, like, a lot of, all of, all of the um, construction here is done, you can see here, uh, this one needs a uh, workforce to be finished, uh, and this one here needs workforce to be finished. Are they surviving in the bus? That's a good question. Are, am I paying them? Let's see. Money is not going down. Money is not going down. Money is not going down. I think I mentioned this as well. And then money goes down. Well, that was imports. But you can see, okay, so only when they work. Okay, how long do you work? We should work eight hours, that would be great. I mean, like, they probably are. You can see here their money still goes. Money still goes, but they're not working because there's no materials. We need to deliver these, but that's fine. We need to finish this uh, stage of uh, construction first. That's fine. So we're going to need these, and they're going to need to deliver more workers. And finally, we're going to have some construction offices, some proper construction offices. Okay, continuing on. So what do we need for city building? For city building, we need some people stuff. First of all, residential buildings. I think those are the most important. Is this a mod? This is a mod. Armenian Stanil Stalinka. Stanilka. Stalinka. Armenian Stalinka. Uh, you know who this is. This is Abel... A billion hike. I think I'm gonna definitely build a neighborhood of these. There are only 60, 62 people, so 10 of these would be a little bit more than half of uh, way through that I would like us to go to. So something like this is definitely gonna be on the menu. Do I, uh, what do I need to build next to the next to the footpath? Let, let's go with these things next to the where people shop. Do I go for vanilla then all the way? No, this is Abel's shop. I will not go for vanilla. Um, Concrete, gravel, bricks... Ah, steel, 12 tons. Oh, seriously? No, no steel. Uh, this is small shopping center. Do I want to maybe do this? Maybe I do. You can see here that the leveling is going to be quite challenging. I mean, I can find places where to plonk stuff, but uh, I'm not really sure if I want to do this. Uh, let's turn you off, you off, and let's go for some smarter things. We're gonna need the pumping station for water, water pumping station. So I'm thinking something about, um, about here. So initially we need a functioning city, so it doesn't have to be big. So most of the stuff here that we're gonna be dealing with is gonna be quite basic, which is, I think, kind of given. So let's go plumbing. Uh, we need a water pumping station. No, we need a small water well. Um, Rob's is one, we have here cooling water pumping house, what, what, okay, skip, um, VVER, why is this, this is a nuclear, okay, nuclear power plant pumping station, okay, 
Okay, skipping those. So we have dirty water, surface water inflow. Now bear in mind that this uh, surface water is like what, 83% or something. It's very low in quality compared to uh, what we need. So the problem is that um, um, the problem is that we need gonna need a lot of a lot of chemicals in order to keep uh, this afloat hot. Yes, I'm healer all week. Come and visit my show. Uh, we're gonna go for small seven uh, seventy cubic meters. Uh, seventy cubic meters. Do I want to stick to this hill? I don't see why not. Uh, ah, right. Maybe this is gonna cause pollution because it doesn't only create uh, surface pollution, it creates a. Uh, uh, underground and also the surface pollution so we're gonna put it a little bit further away and then something that mr dennis taught me that i never ever 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 do right is create the water treatment plant so water treatment small uh import tank no how much can you process 300 120 do we have something in the 70 cubic meters area no these are all enormous um no i'm thinking that we're gonna go for uh, let's see this is uh, do we go for bigger one drops this one how much steel 20 steel 60 steel 41 steel 10 steel no small one it is sold sold uh so it's gonna be somewhere around here oh uh, do we want to do it in this direction why the hell not we're gonna need to pump this uh definitely we're gonna need to pump this so we're gonna need to connect this to the uh, in which direction yeah so this is automated so this is not really wow i really love these rolling hills reminds me of toscany toscana firenze fair firenze uh right so we need the pipe 70 cubic meters now we're gonna be cheapskates go cheapskates um 70 cubic meter oh all no, right i forgot about that part no no cheap skating because 70 cubic oh we have is it better to two times this or one times this but let's let's calculate this how much does this cost uh 100 meters um 3.0 sorry 3.6 3.6 what about this one Okay, I'm pr pretty sure that does the same one. 3.6. Okay, let's let's see this. Uh, this one and then smaller one. 100 meters. Okay, let's construct both of those. So this one requires 3.6. Let's see left and right. 16, 18, and uh, sorry, lower ones. 48, uh, a little bit less, a little bit less, a little bit less. So two times smaller one, it's not worth it. So delete, delete, there we go. So one big pipe uh, is the best one. So she said. Okay, so let's go and connect this to the... Oh, it needs to go to pumping station. But that's fine. Pumping station can go anywhere. So we're going to go for uh water pumping station we can go we can do this one here so we can go for normal one close to the electricity no it's a heating plant electricity is gonna come uh here we go and then we go from here there we go water done this is gonna be water delivered or well, not even close to done we need to place stuff we need to uh, place the buildings and other stuff okay you know what 13 minutes of this i'm gonna wait for our construction offices i'm gonna micromanage our construction offices so they're properly constructed uh, and uh, staffed hopefully that's gonna be done in this episode if it's not uh, i don't know we'll see we'll, we'll survive we're gonna get there anyway five minutes see you back in five
Right, so, um, yeah, we're somewhere. Actually, I'm quite enjoying this. Uh, uh, for me, uh, looking at these vehicles doing their jobs and stuff, that looks so, so nice. Um, yeah, this one is going to refuel, unfortunately. He didn't refuel when he was going there. Uh, that's something we're gonna have to start on as well. Uh, we have one fueling station. I might, I might have to go, or I might want to go for a second one, because I'm pretty sure that this fueling truck that is delivering this fuel is doing an F all, uh, that means puck all. Um, he's not doing much, so I think uh, that would be that would be nice. Let, let's go and build a second gas station, just so we have multiple gas sources for, or or fueling sources for our peeps. Uh, so building one across the the across the uh, station here, the fire station, I think would be nice. So if I go all the way here and then select it and then need to make sure that it's actually set to unload it is perfect. Okay, so I wanted to share something with you, but I forgot what. Yeah, like, like, let's talk about this. Um, there's obviously gravel around here that I can tap into. Uh, it's not flat, but I think if I flatten it, uh, if I flat earth it, if I flatten it, it's gonna be nice. Um, we can we can give it a go. So like construction industries. My question is um, here. Here's something for for a discussion. I think it's worth importing low cost goods like materials, like gravel, like. Uh, electricity uh, it's a good I don't care if we are not if we are not producing our own if you have extensive resources and you want to use it fine go for it do it more power to you but if you want to um, uh, uh, if you don't want to import I don't think you have to like last series we did with like oh, no steel production domestic steel production prefab panel production i didn't do any of those things and now we're going to be focusing on high-end industries manufacturing maybe even chemical production whatever 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 like it's even less important for us to actually uh, deal with these low low cost uh, uh, manufacturing things so my question to you is do you think it's worth it uh, for us for example now to s focus right now on gravel production like straight from the get-go i know a lot of you are gonna be like yes go for it um or don't go for it uh where is it? Uh, gravel here we go gravel mine let's see it's gonna require electricity right as well so if we go for the flat earth terrain like this one has like 30 percent doesn't matter we can get a good one but like i i don't think any of these percentages are bad just because um, uh, we're gonna have so much like gravel is eventually gonna be you know we're gonna stockpile a lot of it and it's not gonna be important but let's say let's say that we decide to go for um for gravel uh, processing on our own. So, what do you think, guys? Is it worth for us to put this gravel uh, processing like close to the border and import uh, workforce from another country for constantly to produce gravel for us? Uh, or, I mean, like obviously not domestic one because we don't have any domestic. We do, but if we try to use them, they're gonna die but they seem to be dying anyway so i'm not really actually there it was 1620 or something like that before now it's it's more or less that that same amount so anyway so uh, what do you think should we just continue importing gravel the only problem with um, uh, importing gravel is bulkness of it because it's a bulky cargo and we need a lot of trucks importing it that's the only reason why i didn't think that maybe we shouldn't be uh importing it because it's clogging the roads uh but uh, like do we go now for gravel so we can you know have closer processing for example here looks like it's a decent amount of gravel so if we put some gravel uh, building here gravel processing processing here and then gravel storage is over here that would be enough for well i think foreseeable future if not for the rest of the series you know enough gravel for everything for everybody gravel for everybody yeah so yeah i think i might i don't think i'm gonna be relying on the on um i don't think i'm gonna be relying on you know what why am i importing this gravel here these trucks are slow i need to be importing gravel here yeah i'm thinking about that Let's try this. Let's try this. 
Let's try it. I think I said this already. Um, I'm gonna be, build the import. Because the other trucks are 60 kilometers per hour, these are 35. Yes, they're gonna go a longer distance, but they are way, way faster. And they already have to go to the border when they're dealing with asphalt. So I'm thinking something about this. Okay, bear with me, bear with me. Uh, I, did I say? Yeah, just bear with me. Um, if I go for the storages, for example, these, and then, seriously? Uh, darn you all to hell! Uh, I, I actually don't mind even doing it here. That's what she said. Uh, okay, and the second one goes in here. Something else that she said. And um, I need a distribution office. I can go for for all mud, muddy, muddy, muddy waters. Here we go, and then we need the distribution office. Distribu distro distribution office. There we go. Distribution office, uh, where is you? You go in here. Where's the other one? How many more do we have? I think we have three or something. Nope, go in here. There we go. And I think the third one... No, I think we only have two. The third one is the fuel one, right? So that would be here. Dumper, dumper. And they still didn't find the new home. And as soon as they find the new home, I'm going to be putting them and telling them to deliver uh, this here. I'm going to let these construction offices empty these storages first. And then they can go all the way there to pick up a gravel. We need to import a lot of gravel. That's the problem. I don't know, maybe I shouldn't have done this, but um, yeah, anyway, done it. I hope you see my logic behind this, but uh, here you go. And then if you want to focus, like this is all free, it costs us nothing. So if we want to process our own gravel, I can go and lo locate uh, the good gravel source and that would be it. We will need probably a little bit more uh, construction vehicle, oh, sorry, dumper trucks. Uh, we will need a few more dumper trucks, but uh, that's a story for another uh, episode. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Wow, I think I bought too many of these. Wow, some of them are full of concrete. <laughs> better, better to be full of concrete than full of sh stuff. Uh, so, yeah, since this is happening slow, unfortunately, I cannot influence that. That's a, just a messages that are going to be annoying us. Okay, roads being constructed. Uh, do we have any more of these constructed? Not really. We have a lot of these ground. Wait, 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 wait. Why didn't you work there? Is it too far again? Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Uh, we're going to go and continue the, the um, making the city. So we have a couple of excavators there that looks like they are available for work. So let's go. Residential buildings, couple of Abel's buildings. Uh, T the sucker, rotate twice. Let's rotate it twice more. There we go, there we go. Did I screw this one up? Yes, I did. Not Feng Shui. If you go and check the Soviet cities, they were all Feng Shui. Form over function. Uh, T the sucker, that's it. Yep, I'm doing it here. And then T again. Rotate twice. That would be this one here. And then T again. Uh, that's it. Um, that would be four of them, 200 and something. That's a really decent quality apartments. I don't mind even smaller ones as long as they're out of Bergove. Uh, these look like uh, apartments or something that belongs here. This is... Yeah, let's do with these ones. This is the... this is something from uh, the Chris. Chris Bremmer's mods, they're absolutely gorgeous, uh, he knows what he's doing, so definitely belongs in here. What is this? Orchard Barracks, that's from another mod, 
brick house, 80%, no dice. Some of the ropes as houses, I think I'm gonna start removing it all, with all due respect. Just 80%, like, th there's no point. There's no point in having uh, le less than, like, 70% uh, buildings, <sighs> nothing. It's not nothing to do with ropes, it's just the game doesn't allow it, those. That they don't just, they're just useless. So, like, 75% in these kind of houses, yeah, probably gonna go, uh, probably gonna go and remove them uh, from my 65%. This is vanilla. Jesus. Okay, let's see something on the bigger side. Definitely we're gonna need something bigger. These big ones are, I think, too modern and I think too, a little bit, they're just gonna be a little bit too much for our current city. These long ones, I think this is definitely gonna look nice here. Uh, I'm thinking, uh, I'm thinking maybe like this. Maybe later, maybe later. They're a little bit too long for me at the moment. We have the Lenin Avenue building. That would be um, Abelian Hikes as well. This is uh, from this is from Armenia. And then we have 1950s Stalinka. <gasps> this is in the same same manner. This is definitely this definitely belongs here. Probably, I'm thinking. Done. There we go. This is 200 people, and then this is 240, 250. So, like, we have, like, 450 people. I can go for another Stalinka as well. I don't think it would be out of place here. Uh, a little bit denser population, but um, I think later on we definitely... The, well, people will take us. You'll thank me later. Something like that. Yeah, it looks like it's gonna take a while for us to level this one up. We need to we need to finish with the roads as well. Uh, oh, no free excavator. By the way, no free excavator. I know exactly why. He's going to refuel. Yeah, he's going to refuel. There's no more fuel, and he's going for it. Um, distributing now, building distribution office for fuel. I think it's a little bit uh, not needed for us at the moment, so I'm gonna skip it. But uh, let's see, these trucks should be now at the border crossing and we go here, load, gravel, unload, unload, gravel and gravel. There we go. So these two guys are supposed to be uh, coming here and delivering this gravel. Do I give them a third truck? Maybe. I don't know. For now, it's fine. For now, it's fine. Whoa. Ah. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, what? Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, darn it. Um, sure. Uh, new home here. Yeah, I think I made a boo-boo. Uh, boo-boo being that this one. Uh, is that you? Yeah, that's you. Okay, so you need to go here. Load fuel, unload nothing, and then here unload fuel, and the second fueling station is right over here. Yeah, they both have fuel, that's fine. We have a little bit better fuel coverage now around the country, so the, the trucks won't get lost. They're never gonna get lost. But we have we have everything in place, everything is being slowly constructed. Again, if I do a timeline, oh, sorry, if I do jump cut, if I finish some of the stuff from here, that's because I'm just wanted to play this game so much that I didn't record, I just did it off screen, uh, but definitely this looks like it's gonna look really nice. This one, are you full of fuel? Ish. Ish. Uh, let's go and uh, finish placing the uh, the Stalinka here. Yeah, let's focus on this. I'm, I'm losing a focus here, guys, so uh, you need to you need to get me back on track from time to time, so let's just do this. Come on, you can do it. Uh, it's creating a hill here. Yeah, I don't know if I like that. I don't know if I like that. I don't know if we can uh, level this back because it's too close to the buildings. Oh, no bulldozers. Uh, yeah, I'm going to have to... Bulldozers are in the road construction offices. Unfortunately, we are still not done. Uh, here we go. The second one is being only constructed now. Uh, and this one is also being finished. That's fine. Soon enough, they're gonna finish this. You guys see last people delivered. Only a few days left. Yeah, let, let's finish in this episode. Let's finish these two more. The last one is gonna be footpath. Um, then we can go for... What did we say? Uh, one of them is gonna be dumpers. Dumpers. Pop. 
dumpers, and this one here is gonna be a road. Yeah, and then I'm gonna have two bus construction offices, so I'm gonna, I can slowly start placing them as well. Here we go. This one is done, this is dumpers, unfortunately, slash, no, there's no fortunately, it's only unfortunately. All these dumpers, let's see. Uh, I'll take I'll take these dumpers and uh, I will leave the other dumper construction office. So asphalt uh, goes from the border crossing, and then gravel goes from uh, the first one. Let's go with the first one. That's fine. And then we have uh, we have a lot of gra oh we have a lot of gravel still here. And there's a this guy here. Okay, he's he stopped importing. I'm gonna leave them for now. Actually, uh, for, to empty these gravel storages that we have here, I don't want to waste gravel on a cheapskate like that. So that's that's it. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, so the second one is it done? Not yet. It requires just workers to finish that. Um, right. Uh, let me let me assign the construction. So this is dumpers. I already assigned that one. Unfortunately, this one cannot be assigned yet. Oh, right. I can do the... This is boss. We need boss too. So assign construction boss to... Off you go. Because it already has almost everything delivered. When they deliver brick uh, boards, which they're doing now, uh, it's going to be delivered shortly. Yeah, that, that, that's more or less it. I'm having fun setting up this uh, country. I think I should have gone with the fire department first. Because we already have some buildings that can burn down and that will be disastrous. And if anything, this game has a really, really decent way of throwing a curveballs at us. That's a baseball term of screwing with us. So, developers, they hate me. So, yeah, anyway. Um, right, that needs to be finished. Uh, bosses, I need three at least, I think. Uh, actually, we, we, can I do with two? Mm, yeah, I need to see how many construction offices do we have, um, sorry, constructions going on at the moment. Might not be that much. Uh, helicopters. There we go. Hopefully Copti didn't hear that. And now we can be fancy. Now we can be fancy or north-south, you know, Egyptian gods of north and south and this kind of stuff. We can be, uh, well, as previously mentioned, fancy. So, just connect like... A, Mother roads here, mother road here, and these are just buses. They don't have any auto search, forget about it. Auto search, forget about it. No construction sign, and there we go. This is bus, bus three. Uh, let, let's go for a third one as well. So, if we go for a construction T, just so they're all the same. So, ah, right, I have too many, I have seven. So uh, come on, finish the last one. Oh, people just coming to work. Yeah, they're gonna finish this shortly. And then I can put the road construction vehicles, which are, well, already working, because we have a couple of roads that are being constructed, but, um, yeah, hey hope. Are we really so busy with the dumper trucks? This is my question. Let's see. Dumper trucks have so many stuff to do. Roads, construction office not, bus stop. Huh? interesting bus stop is almost done uh we need to finish that as well but uh, again it's not that necessary like uh, when i have time more the most important is the fire department here so this needs to be why oh one other thing i forgot here it's the range range it is there we go rangers power rangers come on finish it 21 workers uh, tatra crane Tatra is the mountain chain in uh, Poland, Slovakia, and Czechia. Do we call it Czechia? Do we like Czechia? I didn't like Czechia when we first came out, but uh, the name Czechia. I love Czech Republic, but uh, yeah. Anyway, road-wise, you are constructing... Nope. Yes. Nope. 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 Mm, yeah, sure. Uh, whatever. Uh, five kilometers, and this is road. Okay, so... This one here, where are you? Ah, right, this one is distributing as well, so that's gonna stop shortly. And then I'm gonna go and buy more vehicles here. Vehicles. Uh, we're gonna go for bulldozers and stalinets. Uh, two. 
Cool. And the vehicles need to be delivered machinery. This is dumpers, nothing. Transport, nothing. And we have a groundwork with um, the vehicles need to be delivered machinery. Machinery. We have footpads here. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, but that's a different pair of shoes. This is something different. So um, we're going to focus on that later. Um, buses here. Maybe. Yeah, let's, let's find you a new, new home. So here, this is a bus three. Uh, bus... Bus 3, this is a bus 2. Rename bus 2. There we go. Bus 3 and bus 2, and we're missing. Uh, you are. Yeah, you're going there. Perfect. So we need to demolish this one. Yes. And we're going to have bus 1 as well. So these are the. Um, one sec. Sorry. Um, so these are the. Uh, T. Uh, I'm gonna real quickly uh, again talk about these kind of problematic things. Not even close. Actually, fun things. Uh, how leaky. Uh, this is all based on uh, one guy called Stats, uh, who was mentioning a lot about the um, how construction stages work in this game, and you know how every construction has stages. You have the knights laying brick stage. You have a groundwork stage, and then you have like a sometimes finishing stage. So. You have the separate stages. Um, uh, for some of them, you need only specific materials. So, for example, for groundwork, you will almost always need gravel, asphalt, and concrete. And those stages can be finished without people. Yes, you don't need people to finish it. Excavator can finish the groundwork stage. The uh, other stages uh, will require uh, mater other materials, sometimes the same, sometimes they're going to need c concrete, sometimes they're going to need asphalt or something, sometimes it's a bridge that will require asphalt all the way. But um, uh, if you separate your construction offices per their needs, the, 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 per the stages, so that would be groundwork stage for these excavators, and then we have the, um, the, the stage for transport, that would be, uh, the, for example, transport does not need to be servicing roads but these days it's more and more uh, needed for the roads so i allow them for example factory connections they don't need anything for transport office so you can limit the amount of um, buildings that are assigned to that groundwork for example groundwork needs to be removed from footpaths because footpaths are leaching the uh, the excavators because excavators can finish footpaths uh, you don't need factory connections you don't need the roads for for the Groundworks, electric wiring, yes. Sometimes you need for these big ones, they do have a, a groundwork stage as well. Uh, they don't have it, uh, they finish the groundwork stage, so they don't have it now, but they do. Uh, conveyor pipe pages, they also, the towers need um, a groundwork stage too. They need a um, foundation. Anyway, uh, continuing on, we have the road construction. Road construction needs only one type of vehicle, <clears throat> that will be bulldozer, to build the gravel roads. If you want asphalt roads, you need uh, asphalt layering uh, the pavers and rollers. And uh, you, when you we are not constructing yet, yeah, whoa, darn it! Let's give you home here. Hopefully, this one is full of uh, bricks, so I don't want him to waste the bricks. So, but probably will. Anyway, whatever. Um, what I wanted to say is that um, uh, road construction office um, only needs uh, bulldozers at the stage that we are in, because I'm not going to be building any asphalt roads until we get some of our own industries, asphalt industries, and uh, until it's viable for us, until we start earning money. But for now, this is perfectly fine. I'm perfectly happy with this. Let's just continue on. Gravel roads. Uh, by the way, gravel roads, because most of your Skoda vehicles... Ah, oh, darn. Okay, so... You're gonna be like that. He dumped the bricks. He dumped the bricks and then was given order to go and get more bricks. F you game. Uh, right. Uh, what do we have here? Dumpers. Dumpers. Um, yeah, this totally that's gonna continue working on this one. And this is a road. Uh, no, these are also dumpers. So I can, uh, as soon as we empty a dump site, that will be this for now. Um, this is the, let's see, dumpers. Uh, dumpers, they don't... Wait, what? Dumpers... Okay, they have... They have no source of... Um, 
they have no source of um, uh, gravel. That means I destroyed their source of gravel. That means that these guys were getting their uh, gravel from here. So uh, I did well. Anyway, this, this episode is getting too long. So I'm going to end it here. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, press the like button. If you didn't, leave a nasty comment in the comment section. Let me know what you think. Like, subscribe, notification bell, ring it, comment section, hit it. And if you want to support the channel, I have a description of the video. Thanks for watching, guys. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.